If you've been following my monthly updates on the LG C9, you'll know that so far it's been a great all-around TV and there hasn't been any burn-in so far. But is three months really that long of a time? No. And this got me thinking, why don't we check out the two-year-old LG B7 in my bedroom? Guys, I'm Bushwhack18. I stream live on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Come on over, join in on the fun, and say hello. Also, if you have any questions about any tech that I've reviewed, or what my opinion is on any newer tech coming out, Twitch is the place to do it, because it's a live format. You can ask a question and get a full in-depth response on the spot, and not have to worry about YouTube not updating me when you leave a comment and ask a question. So the LG B7, this will be a very interesting test, because I use this thing for one whole year, really hard as a PC monitor. I played a ton of PUBG on it, which has that uh, that HUD and map in the bottom right, uh, always there in the corner. So very susceptible to burn in, in that spot. It's always, I've played probably close to a thousand hours of PUBG on the LG B7. And then after that, the next year, it was used uh, for primarily for HDR content in my bedroom. So we're gonna go through with the test, see how it's holding up. And hopefully this can better inform you guys what to expect after two years of hard use with an OLED TV. Let's go. So as you can see, this two generation old LG B7 shows no signs of burning. Even looking most carefully on the bottom of the screen where that taskbar would normally be, and in the bottom right where the map would be in PUBG, there doesn't appear to be any sign of burning. Based off some of the things that I've heard on the internet, I was almost 100% expecting some sort of burn in on here, but it appears that LG's official statement on burning on their OLEDs rings true here. On LG's official site, it says, so in short, reasonable responsible usage of an OLED TV combined with powerful image preservation ability should result in a seamless home entertainment experience. And I don't have any data that conflicts that right now. So three months with the C9, no burning. Two years with the B7, no burning. So we're looking good. It just my my thought has always been that if you use one of these things responsibly make sure you turn it off when you're not using it and just don't intentionally try to get burn in on it you're probably gonna be fine you're probably gonna be fine like i said i game a lot on my oled tvs and i've got no burn in one of them has been two years the other one's been three months so we'll keep testing we'll keep testing every month for the c9 so guys it's worth noting that i'm not sponsored by lg or anything i have like 200 subs no one's gonna sponsor me i'm a really small channel uh, my mission right here is like I have two OLEDs. There's a ton of people asking all sorts of questions about burn in all the time. And I figured it's best since I have these and I have the equipment to film a proper YouTube video that I let you guys know all the information and keep you posted. Um, I'm just giving you the data. If one of these two showed burn in, it's important that you guys know. So if that does develop over the coming months, you guys will see it right here to make sure if you want more videos like this in the future you hit that subscribe button make sure you drop me a like if you like this video if not throw a dislike in there argue with me and don't be afraid to come over and strike up a live conversation on twitch every monday wednesday friday saturday sunday guys on bushwhack 18 see you later Close till I get up